Hello everyone, welcome to Botnash Channel for UPSC Examination. In today's video, we are going to see the plants as source for the timber. As you know, for timber, mankind is always dependent on the trees because trees are the only source which can produce the timber and this timber is economically very important from the human point of view. Beside this, you will find this topic in the economic botany chapter in the UPSC mains examination. Not only in the UPSC mains examination, this topic forms the part of a syllabus of your BSc or MSc and other various competitive examinations. And that is why we are going to cover this topic in this particular video. Before starting the video, I request you to join the Telegram channel of the same name that is the Botany Optional for UPSC examination on the Telegram platform because all the PDFs and links of the videos are shared on that platform so that you will not miss any study material relating with this channel. All right. So let's see the plants as a source for timber. So the very first plant we are going to see is an Tectona grandis commonly known as the Tech. As you know Tectona grandis is a famous for the production of timber and that is why we are going to cover this particular plant in the first slide. This Tectona grandis plant belonging to the family called Verbinaceae and it is an angiosperm. In this picture you can observe this is an Tectona grandis plant showing the stem from which the main timber is extracted. Now this tree can grow up to the height of 40 meters. The wood of this tree shows the hardwood which is an yellowish in color and have the leather like scent. That is as you know in the wood we have the sap wood as well as the hardwood. Both this type of woods are present in the timber. So the hardwood of the Tectona grandis is yellowish in color plus it has a leather like scent. White, the sap wood is whitish to yellow, pale yellow in color. The wood texture of the Tectona grandis is very hard and that is why this wood is very durable and that is and this is the very basic reason why Tectona grandis is so famous for its teak. The timber from Tectona grandis is used in the furniture making then board text making for indoor flooring then it is widely used to make the doors and house windows. So there are wide applications of this Tectona grandis. The timber which is extracted from the Tectona is often used in the furniture indoor flooring and door and, and in making of the doors and windows all right it is resistance to the attack of termites its wood contain the scented oil which is repellent to the insects so this is a great advantage the teak have because it contains the scented oil which is naturally resistant to the termites and that is why the durability of this wood is very high because it contains the natural repellent for the termites so the very first plant we are seeing is a tectona grandis which produces the timber this Tectona grandis plant belonging to the Verbenaceae family which is an and it's an angiosperm. The tree height can be up to the 40 meters. The hardwood of this Tectona grandis is yellowish in color while the sap wood is whitish to pale yellow in color. The wood texture is very hard and it is used to making the furniture, flooring, doors and windows. Plus it is very resistant to the termites because it contains the scented oil which is naturally insect repellent. Alright. So, so this is the first plant which produces the timber. Now let us see the second plant called Dalbergia sisu. It is also called as the Indian redwood or shisa. As you may have heard these names before because Dalbergia sisu is also a very famous plant for the timber production. This Dalbergia sisu plant belongs to the angiospermic family called Fabaceae. At height of this tree may reach up to the 25 meters. That is it is not grow as much as the Tectona grandis but its height can grow up to the 25 meters. The hardwood of this tree ranges from golden brown to the darker reddish brown and pale straw colored sap wood is present. The hardwood is of a golden brown to the darker reddish color while the sap wood is pale to straw color. Sisu has a distinct scent that is the characteristic of the most rose woods. This Dalbergia sisu plant has a very distinct scent which is a characteristic of most of the rose woods. And this is the very reason why this plant become famous because not only it is a hardwood for the indoor furniture making but it also naturally contains rosewood scent and this advantage adds to the value of this Delvergia sisu timber. Now let us see the uses of this. The timber of the Delvergia sisu is used in the construction plus it is used to create the plywoods then musical instruments, furnitures, flooring, board building and carving etc. So the Delvergia sisu plant has a wide application in, in creating the plywoods plus it is used in the musical instruments then in a furniture, flooring, board building and carvings. Alright. So this is the second plant we are seeing. 
for the timber production is a Dilbergia sisu, which belongs to the Angiospermy family of Fabaceae can grow up to the height of 25 meters. Its hard wood is a golden brown to darker reddish in color, while the staff wood is pale to straw color. The sisu has a distinct scent, which is a characteristic of most of the rose woods, and it is used in the construction, veneer, in making plywoods, musical instrument, furniture, flooring, board building, and carvings. All right. So this is the second plant. Now let us see the third plant, which produces the timber. It is called Shoria robusta, and commonly it is called as the sal. Again, this is a very famous plant for the timber production. This Shoria robusta plant belongs to the angiospermic family called Diplerocarpaceae. Now, this plant can grow up to the height of 50 meters. That is, it, it grow more than the teak plant or the Tectona grandis plant, and that is why you can get the more long timber from this plant. The wood of this plant, the heart, the hard wood is dark reddish brown in color. The thin bands of the sap woods is whitish in color. That is, the wood contains the hard wood plus the sap wood. The, the hard wood is a dark and reddish brown in color, while the sap wood is whitish in color. The uses of this plant are the wood is hard, heavy, very durable, highly resistant to the termite attacks. The wood is important local source for the fuel. Not only used in the construction, but it also used in there as a local fuel. And due to the, its natural resistance to the termites, this Shoria robusta timber has a great economical importance. This wood is easy to saw, but because of its high resin content, it is difficult to plane and turn. That due to its extreme hardness and due to the high resin content of the Shoria robusta, it is very difficult to plane and turn the wood of this plant. And that is why it can only be used where there is a straight wood is required. This quality of being so hard is a disadvantage for the Shoria robusta plant because from the human point of view, we often use the timber which is not only durable and hard but also the but also can be turned desirably so the shoria robusta is a third plant for the timber production it belongs to the family angiospermic family called dipterocarpaceae can grow up to the height of 50 meters the hard wood is dark and reddish dark reddish brown while the sap wood is a whitish in color there are many uses of the shoria robusta timber it is very hard heavy and very durable also, it is very resistant for the termite attacks. The wood is also an important source for the local fuel. Due to its high resin content, it is very difficult to plane and turn this wood. All right. Next plant for the timber production is a Terminalia arjuna. It is commonly called as arjuna. It belongs to the angiospermic family called Cambridaceae. This tree can grow up to the height of 25 meters. In this picture, you can observe this is a plant of a Terminalia arjuna. It has a very broad stem. The the sap wood of a Terminalia arjuna is pinkish white and the hard wood is brown to dark brown in color. It's very hard wood, lustrous, strong and heavy. That is the wood, that is the timber coming from the Terminalia arjuna is very hard in nature plus it is lustrous, strong and heavy. The sap wood is of pinkish white in color while the hard wood is brown to dark brown in color. This timber of the Terminalia arjuna is used for the construction of carts, boats, in general construction, agricultural implements, water crops, traps, electric poles, plywoods, and mine probes. So this Terminalia Arjuna wood has a wide range of applications. Plus, it is very durable, hard, strong, and heavy wood. All right. So Terminalia Arjuna is the fourth plant for the timber production, which belonging to the angiosperm family of Cambridaceae and can grow up to the height of 25 meters. Its sap wood is pinkish white in color, while the hard wood is brown to dark brown in color. It is very hard, lustrous, strong, and heavy in nature. Its uses are the construct for the construction of carts and boats for the general construction, agricultural implements, water crops, traps, electric poles, plywoods, and mine props. All right. Now the next plant for the timber production is the Cedrus deodara, commonly known as deodar. Now this deodar belonging to the gymnosperms in the family of Pinaceae. So you have to remember the citrus deodara belonging to the gymnosperm and not to the angiosperm and its family is a pinaceae. The tree height is up to the 60 meters. As you can observe here, we have seen four angiosperms before and not any of them reached the height of 60 meters. This is the very special quality of the gymnosperms that they can grow up to the 100 meters of height. You can observe in this particular picture, this is a picture of a citrus deodara which is growing from ground to the skies nearly 60 meters right so due to this high height the gymnosperms find the very high applications in the timber production because it can produce the very long length timber all right 
Now let us see the uses of this Devdhar tree. It, it is used in the house construction, support bins, floorboards, doors and door frames, window frames and furnitures. The Himalayan cedar wood is still used in the railway projects. So this is very peculiar that Himalayan cedar wood is used in the railway projects such as in the construction of sleeper cars and freight carriages and railway wagon repair projects. So the fifth plant for the timber production is the citrus devdhara which is also called as devdhar. It is a gymnosperm and belonging to the family Pinaceae and can grow up to the height of 60 meters. Again, this has the various applications similar to the other uh, timber woods, but apart from that, it is also used in the railway construction projects. All right. So all these are the five plants which produce the timber. I hope you like this lecture. Please like the video. Please share this video with your friends who are studying the botany. And if you have any doubt, please make sure to comment in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe to the Botany Option channel for UPSC examination. Again, thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one.